Hey, I'm Keith with Intech, and we're here today to take a look at the all new 2023 Discover. Discover is an 18 foot long camper, and it only weighs about 23, 2400 pounds all loaded out. So easy to tow with most vehicles. And with that light weight, you still have a cargo capacity large enough to haul a two door side by side. So a lot of room inside this unit. Also for 2023, this unit got some great new remakes on it. We'll take a look at those items. And, but first, let's go ahead and take a look at the construction because that's what really sets an Intech apart. All right, so this is what really sets an Intech apart from anything else you're gonna see out there when you peel back the walls and see how it's constructed. So what we do is we build our own aluminum chassis and base frame for every single unit. And then there's an aluminum cage that is then welded together and welded on top. So this is one solid welded structure before it ever starts down the production line. And what's unique about that is how most RVs are gonna be made is they're gonna have laminated walls that will then eventually throughout the process be screwed or stapled down to the floor. And then the roof is the same way. It's gonna be screwed or stapled to the side walls. So you can imagine in particular with something like a flyer when you're going in very demanding conditions and roads and, and off the beaten path, all the twisting that that unit's trying to do. And if it's just screwed or stapled together, you're gonna to see things like caulk joints fail. You're gonna see things like cabinetry fail. With this one solid structure, all tube construction completely welded together, extremely strong and can handle any of the demands that you're gonna put it through. All right, so back out on the outside of the Discover here, uh, as we look at the front end, you'll see that we have a full-size spare mounted on it. This will always be a matching spare to the rest of the unit. Uh, you're gonna have a tongue box for some additional storage space on the front. And then your 20 pound LP tank will be mounted off to the side. As we come around the corner of the unit, you're gonna see this is a new piece for this year. So aesthetically, it looks a little different. The decals have changed. You're gonna see ATP uh, across the bottom of the unit, a different style fender on board. And then as far as color options though, it's just like it used to be. You still have a charcoal, silver, white, red, and black colors available on this unit here. Down below us, you're gonna see this little port. This is new for this year. This is a quick release for a water hose. So the Discover now comes with a water hose that connects on, feeds from your eight and a half gallon tank. And the cool thing about that hose, it's towards the front of the unit, but it's long enough to reach all the way around to the back. So you can get to your ramp door area, wash off any gear or anything you have out there. This Discover is shown with the optional 10 foot awning. That is a power awning powered from the inside, feeds out, has two legs that come down to the ground. You'll also see we have our optional roof rack on board this unit here. Down the side, what you're looking at here is our tip out bed. So this is an option on this side of the Discover. On the road side, you're gonna have a tip out bed that is standard. If you were to not get this tip out bed here, you would see a large window feeding to the interior of the unit. Down lower, you're gonna have a couple of side steps to allow you to get up higher to reach items on top of the Discover. And then you'll see stabilizer jacks. There'll be four stabilizer jacks, two in the back, two in the front for when you're set up and in camp mode. Coming around to the rear end of the Discover here, you'll see a new spoiler design up top there. It sticks out a little bit beyond the ramp door, so if it is raining, it gives you a little more protection. Also a nice aesthetic look there. And then there'll be a loading light mounted on top of the, or on the face of the spoiler there as well. That'll work as your running lights when you're driving down the road, but there's also a switch right inside the camper to kick that on so you can then light up your gear and everything from the back end. Down low here, you're gonna see a two inch receiver. So that's rated for 175 pounds, great for hauling around bikes, even heavier bikes like e-bikes will work with that receiver that you see there. Coming to the road side of the unit as we go towards the front, here you're gonna see again another tip out, that's the standard piece. Further up towards the front though, you're gonna have your city water fill. So you can either fill your eight and a half gallon tank here or plug directly into the water source that's available to you. You're also gonna have your 30 amp shore cord plug in. This is gonna be a solar port. So this is wired directly into the unit to your batteries. If you have a briefcase type solar setup, you can plug that in and be ready to go. Here you're noticing something as well. This is a new feature for 2023. This is the vent for the LP furnace. So we used to use a heat strip inside the AC to provide you heat. Now in 2023, you can add an LP furnace. That way, if you are off grid, you don't have access to plug in the unit, you can still have heat. All right, here on the back side of the unit again, we're here with the ramp door down. This is a nice beefy ramp door. It can handle 2,500 pounds of loading on it. 
So again, for the heavier side-by-sides, not an issue at all to pull them up and inside the garage area here. Moving forward, you're gonna see both your tip-out beds. This is what they look like in their closed position. So they only come out about six or eight inches into the space, still giving you plenty of room. This is a seven foot wide camper. so a lot of interior length to it. So overall width inside this unit is seven feet wide. And then you have a floor, garage floor length, all the way up to the cabinets there that's just shy of 12 feet in length. So again, a lot of good space, two door side by side, no problem fitting in here, larger motorcycles, dirt bikes, four wheelers, they all fit great. As we look at our floor and talk about that, you'll see you have some tie down points throughout. But the neat thing about this floor is this is a three quarter inch dry max material. And dry max is like a wood, but it has basically no absorption rate. We also seal that off from the bottom so no water is able to hit it. But the beauty of what we get with that product is you have great strength and stability out of it and screw retention. So if you need to add your own chalks for motorcycle tires or different items, you can add on to this floor however you see fit. Um, also, as you look at the walls, you're going to notice that we carpet these walls on the flyers. So for the wall material, we're going to use a thicker uh, wood material that's almost 3 8 in thickness. So you got a lot of strength on that as far as if a handlebar or something was to pound into it. Also, you have great screw retention in the sidewalls. So again, if you want to hang something additional, modify this unit to work for your specific purpose, it's easy to do. As we come inside, you'll see there's gonna be some cubby storage overhead on both sides of the tip outs. And then towards the front, the kitchen is similar to what we saw last year, but a little bit of a redesign to it, some different colors and aesthetics to it. And then you'll also notice this is where your LP furnace is located. If you were to not option in the LP furnace, this would just be a cubby space with additional storage. And then you still have your closet up, up above here for hanging items as well. As we look down the side, you're going to see a switch plate here. This is going to be where your water pump's located, some of your accent lighting's located there. You have another little compartment down below. And this is where the uh, battery box is located. You're going to see your water tanks down here. That's the eight and a half gallon tank. Your converter is right here as well. So one neat thing about these converters is they come set up standard for a lead acid battery like what we have a box for in the unit but then you can also switch it over to lithium. So if you want to do a lithium setup, basically a button on here that you switch over and you're good to go. Battery on off switch is located here, so you can kick that off once you're done camping. Make sure you're not burning up any battery juice while it's sitting still. Coming over here, you're gonna see you're gonna have a two burner cooktop and then a nice deep farmhouse sink as well. So a nice usable, usable countertop and sink space on board the Discover. Over here, right beside the door, you're going to see some of the controls for your max air fan, your uh, furnace controls, and then you'll also have your power switch for your awning along with some of your light switches. This is a nice max air unit, so if you aren't at a spot where you can plug into shore power, this unit has a hood on it so it can actually run in the rain, still provide ventilation, and then it even has a little thermostat on board it where it will try to control the temperature to some degree. It can only do whatever is available to it outside or inside the camper but it'll exhaust air out or pull air in and try to maintain some level of temperature for you. Uh, as we step back, you'll see the air conditioning unit. So this is an 11,000 BTU AC, and then all your controls are gonna be right on board this unit. So for controlling the fan speed and everything, you can do that right there. So for sleeping inside the Discover, we have options for two tip out beds. It's gonna come standard with the one over here on the road side of the unit, and then you can option in the one on the curb side. Again, if it didn't have this option, then you'd have a large window feeding into here. Both of these beds are gonna be uh, 80 inches long and they're gonna be about 48 inches wide. So a decent amount of space when you have two of them in here. Also, if you were in conditions where you didn't wanna have tip outs open, you can always close those up, bring beds down onto the floor space here. Obviously, you got plenty of room. So that's a look at the interior and exterior of the all new 2023 Flyer Discover. The one we looked at today here again, it had a number of options on them. So the complete list of options available on the Flyer Discover are the air conditioner, the roof rack, the 10-foot awning, the curbside tip-out bed, and then our all-new LP furnace. Appreciate you guys checking out the video.